So ladies and gentlemen, what we want to do, um, if you can remember the distributed property, what we're going to do is we're just going to build on adding and subtracting like terms. So the main important thing we need to remember about the distributed property is remember when we have a, a number or a variable outside of a parenthesis, what that, what that means is we need to multiply that number or variable to every single term inside our parenthesis. So now this turns into AB plus AC. Even if that was a negative, this represents the same thing as like a negative 1, right? So that'd be negative B plus negative C. That's a very common one that gets mistaken. So when I'm doing this, or I'm going to be teaching this, what we notice is we have a 2m squared outside the parenthesis, right? So what that means is 2m squared times 2m squared plus 2m squared times 3m, and then plus 2m squared times negative 5. Does everybody see that? See what I did? All I did was I took each one of those terms and multiplied my 2m squared by it. Is that OK? Does everybody see that? Anybody have any questions on that? Now, I haven't multiplied it yet. Um, the reason why I put the negative 5 in parentheses, because it's a negative, it's really helpful if you guys do that with all of your terms. Rather than writing the multiplication symbol, you can just put them in parentheses so it will show you're doing rep uh, multiplication. So now the next thing I need to do is remember our rules of exponents. Whenever we have two exponents, our numbers with exponents, and they have the same base, we add the exponents, right? So here, I multiply my 2 times 2, which is 4. m times m, or m squared times m is going to be m2 plus 2. 2 times 3 is going to give me a positive 6 m to the 2 plus, there's an exponent 1 up there, m to the first power. Plus, now 2 times negative 5 is going to be a negative 10. And I cannot add the m squared to anything, so it's just going to be m squared. So finally, it's going to be 4m to the fourth plus 6m cubed plus, actually, instead of a plus and negative, we could just write it as subtract 10m squared. OK? How can you multiply this way? I couldn't. I remember, you can multiply 2m squared times 3m. You just multiply your coefficients. And then when you multiply m squared times m, you follow your rule of exponents. Bad in the mouth. OK? Wait. So whatever coefficients, multiply them. Yes? Here? Yeah. Um, all I did, m squared, oh, I don't know what the heck. It was 6m, 6m, that was probably very confusing. 2 times 3 is, is 6, and then m, 2 plus 1, because this has a coefficient or an exponent of 1. Sorry about that. OK. That's it. That's all you guys got. <laughs>